50 miles seemed like 100 miles. It seemed like a marathon back in the day before I started running. Is it absurd for someone like myself to go from doing some 10K races, the odd 21K trail run, to running 50 miles in the Cascade Mountains? Should I be doing this? I think you're asking the wrong person. <laughs> it's a science, it's not a religion. So as long as you apply the science, you'll be fine. A 50 miler is typically not a distance that you can do off the couch. It's typically not something that you can just show up and grit your way through and hope for the best. There's no faking it at that point. And yeah, training is what sets people up for success in anything, but especially when you're talking longer distances on foot. Training for a 50 mile run takes a lot of time. That really was the biggest challenge, was putting it all together and not trying to take shortcuts. 25 k's into what should be a 50 k training run. Not feeling it today, just tired, legs are a bit sore. Running 50 miles takes a long time to get prepared for and to attempt to do, and you wanna give yourself every possibility at success, sourcing your information in advance on how to train, how to fuel, and how to pace yourself on the day. You get excited about something and then you start thinking about all the reasons why it can't or won't happen. And very quickly people lose their, their momentum and, and, and step back and, and never really follow through. Feeling pretty strong so far. We've been pacing ourselves, taking it easy in the early stretch here so that we're not running out of gas. How are you feeling, Matt? Feeling good. Yeah, really good. Beautiful trail, perfect temperature. I have a friend who's a long distance runner and someone said, why do you run? And he showed a picture of himself when he used to be unhealthy and unhappy. And he said, I'm running from that guy. I thought that was pretty funny. I'm not running from anything. I'm running to something. I'm trying to keep healthy so that as I get older and as I age, I have a body that can carry me where I need to go. That's what it's all about. How are you guys doing? Well, we were having a great little chat. We were like, yeah, we better get it moving pretty soon. Okay. Somebody's going to have to run up there with you now, which is probably going to be me. Wish me luck. Good luck. Welcome to Swagpaw, guys. My knee was bugging me a bit. Just took a couple of Advil and I'm good to go. And I stretched a bit. At the top of Manson's Ridge, when Matt was running ahead of me, he would yell back, drop off. And I would look down and I could barely see because of the visibility. And I just realized if I got that wrong, I would probably die or be very badly injured. It was just that steep. When I set this challenge of running 50 miles after I turned 50, I knew that it wasn't a given I was going to be able to achieve it. It takes the first step. All right, I'll follow you. Whether it's a 50 miler or whether it's just a change in lifestyle, for me, it's always been about just wanting to be physically active and wanting to be a healthy individual. Life is easier when you're healthy, when you're fit. One K left. Happy to see you. I think a lot of it has to do with just testing human endurance, right? We've always been really interested in that question of how much can we do and how much can we do and survive. And so knowing that your brain is ultimately what's going to be what stops you eventually, you recognize you have a choice. My wife has always told me, because she runs as well, she said you should never finish a race and feel horrible. Feel like you want to pass out, feel like you want to vomit. You should run at a level that makes you feel comfortable. And I felt we did that in this run. And I didn't push the training to the point where I got injured. I always tried to keep it within reason so that I could still function in everyday life. <laughs> Which I think you need to That's do. such a dad thing to say. <laughs>